What's going on guys and welcome back to our Road to Glory series. We're going to hop into this episode with the game right off the bat. We got a classic original six matchup, the Leafs versus the Bruins. Now this game is a little bit different. Uh, let's have a look at his team first. He's got a sick team. Obviously he's a uh, big Bruins fan here. He's got Chara, all the, all the Bruins players, and of course he's got Tuka, Rask, and Net. So he's got a way better team than us. But you're going to notice a difference here because he's actually playing manual goalie. Now, I thought right off the bat I was going to wreck this guy. And we actually get off to a great start. Five minutes in, Matthew Perot goes upstairs. Kind of a cheeky goal. But after that, this guy is a incredible goalie. He stopped everything I threw his way. It was so frustrating as well playing against the computers. Every pass they made was just mint. And it is so hard to defend against the AI. It's honestly so frustrating. I've never been so just angry and so like gripping my controller so hard I just couldn't do anything against this guy. Now Matthew Perot started off the game alright with a big goal but he gets laid out there and a couple seconds later he's gonna get a shot on net and Matthew Perot puts it in his own net. He's got one goal for us and one goal for them which is definitely not good. So you can see here only seven shots through two periods. I couldn't get anything going. I literally have no excuse here. I just couldn't do anything. Kincaid makes a big stop there uh, holding the 1-1 game but he's going to come right through here over to McQuaid and McQuaid is going to score a goal making it 2-1. to one. I just couldn't get anything going. I don't know what it was. He makes it 3-1 to one there. Uh, the AI, they're smarter than me apparently because I couldn't make any passes. I couldn't get any shots on net. Only had 9 shots that entire game. He had 35 and over 10 minutes of time on attack. 86% faceoff percentage is nuts. That AI, man. I couldn't even explain it. It's so frustrating. If you never played against the AI when they have a manual goalie, it is the most frustrating thing in the world. Props to him, though, for actually playing goalie. I could never do that. That's uh, definitely a tough position to play, especially in Ultimate Team, where people love that Ultimate Team cheese. Now, getting into another game here, we actually won 5-1. to one. There was so laggy, though. Even though we had good connection, I uh, didn't want to show you the highlights. They were really, really laggy. Nothing really happened. Willie got a goal there and Kincaid once again played awesome. So I went ahead and I got a brand new second line uh, center and a second line right winger in Galchenyuk and Sebastian Aho. Now both of these players have synergies active which is pretty awesome. That gets the offensive juggernaut going and you guys explained to me that having Wrecking Crew is one of the best synergies you can get. One of the best new synergies you can get. Give every player on the team plus three acceleration, balance, body checking, and and strength. Also, you guys told me x-ray vision was really good, but you need 10 points for x-ray vision. So I think we're going to end up going with Wrecking Crew. We're probably going to end up getting some players in the next video to get that Wrecking Crew synergy active. Uh, so if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Now contracts. Contracts are a thing I've never had to worry about because I open up a ton of packs on my regular team and I just use those contracts from those packs. But with Road to Glory, we need to actually save as much money as we can can so I sniped a few for 300 coins at the 59 minute mark. We need one point to get the Division 9 title and move into Div 9 up against a guy who is a Anaheim Ducks fan. He has a complete gold team. No season 2 players on his forward core. A bunch of decent players but no one really outstanding. He's got Darcy Kemper in net and on the defense. He actually has one season 2 player that being Braden Coburn. So right off the bat we're going to get things started with a uh, couple of shots from the point here. I'm going to try it twice. The first time we get denied, going to try the exact same play, and we get denied once again. But we're not going to be denied for long. A little over halfway through the second period, we're going to get a beautiful pass, tape to tape to Will Nye, the hockey guy. William Nylander gets another goal. This guy is just a cheat code for me. He is honestly so good. And for the second time in this episode, we score on our own net. He gets a shot and Ryan Ellis just decides to poke it right through Kincaid, unfortunately, and uh, that is embarrassing. So like I said, we needed one more point and we choke. We choke. How does that happen? What a shot. 33 seconds left and Kincaid blows it. We blew it as a team. I can't blame that all on Kincaid. Ryan Garbutt with the cannon and unfortunately with 30 seconds left. 30 seconds. 
seconds. That's all we needed to do. We needed to get it to overtime. Just to get one point, we needed it, and we choked. So up against another guy here, trying to get that Div 9 title. He's got the 90 overall Jeff Carter, so the best player that we have played yet. 90 overall center there, that's gonna hurt. Definitely the best item that we've seen so far during this Road to Glory. We need one point. Can we please get one point? For Nylander. Without Colin Greening is in the penalty box, Nylander gets an extra shift. William Nylander shoots, he scores! Markov, a lancé pass, Pacioretty, en boucher gauche, rejoint le tir de Alex Gauthier, et voilà le numéro 30 cette année. Dowdy to center to Toffoli, Toffoli left side, a pass in front, score, Carter driving to the net. Off the left wall, into the slot, looks for the shot, scores! Braden point, baby, power play goal! Number three for the Sabres trying to get it loose. Puck kept in front. Nylander scores! Carlson. Carlson up into the corner and another penalty coming up against and that was Montreal. Hard. Game is he pointing? He's out of the game. Five minute major. Five minute major fan in the tunnel wants to see the replay. And off the face off, Stone coming in and. Up top now, Falk again, Aho, one timer, scores! Sebastian Aho with a bullet and different options. Here he is again, rips the shot, he scores! Off of Rask into the net, hat trick for William Nylander of the Maple Leafs. Now played back for Gardner. Jake Gardner works in, has a look through the lane, plays it back to Nylander, fire score! William Nylander with a bullet! Toronto's back on top. Niskanen swung one that went off Boyle and is lugged right back up ice again and played across by Dorset nicely across for Boyle. He scores! Needless to say, I was a little bit pissed off that we choked in the last game, so I put up eight goals on the board. Willie had four. Will Nye, the hockey guy, had four goals, one assist for five points. This guy, again, he is a cheat code. We have now won the Div 9 title, and we are working our way into Div 8, so another online seasons pack. Hopefully, it's better than the last one. Our last one wasn't terrible, but I'm hoping for some big stuff. Since we we got in the next division and we get a host, a jersey, a logo, and a bronze collectible. What the hell am I gonna do with that? Oh wow, that was brutal. Hopefully our pack luck uh, can turn around here because if I keep on getting division titles like that, we're gonna get nowhere fast. So I'm looking here if I could sell any players. Now unfortunately, all of our players are non-tradable, so I gotta spend a little bit of money here. We have over 5k in the bank. Now I know I said I was gonna wait to buy some Wrecking Crew players, but I got ambitious and I'm gonna spend some money here and get that Wrecking Crew synergy active. So we got Nick Spalling, we got a uh, big bad Nicholas Cronwell there on our defense. I had an Andrew Hammond in uh, my collection that actually has the Wrecking Crew synergy. So now we have synergy number two active. We have uh, Offensive Juggernaut and now we have Wrecking Crew. So that's gonna make our team pretty scary. I'm pretty excited to see how that synergy actually does on on the ice. So until next time guys, I'm going to cut this one short. The next video is going to be a long one. We're going to get a ton of games done in the next video. Hopefully advance into Div 7. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. Do you guys want to see shorter episodes, longer episodes, how many games per? Uh, if you have any players you'd like me to pick up, please let me know and I will credit you with it in the next video if I decide to pick that player up. But I think we're doing pretty good right here. William Nylander is absolutely killing it for us. Guy is a cheap code uh, he's honestly so so good so thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next video